getting the best voice recorded audio for your YouTube videos. We're figuring out what works and what doesn't. Hello and welcome back to Gears and Tech. You've probably seen our other video where we review devices such as this. These are audio voice recorders and the ability to use them for recording audio for your YouTube videos or your YouTube channel. If you've already seen that video, you realized that at the end I said that both of these suck and they are not worth it. Now, if you've looked on websites or other YouTube videos, they've maybe said that an audio recorder is the way to go. Certainly not the cheap audio recorders. We're still looking for a good budget solution that works really well while not breaking the bank because we're not all rich YouTubers. Some of us are sitting in a closet sized office trying to do the best that we can do. Today we're going to review three more products. Now these are getting a little bit more aggressive as far as what their form and function are and we're gonna test how they work. So you will be able to hear on this video which ones sound like what and you can decide which one you think might be best for you and i'll tell you kind of what my thoughts are as well but first we need to see what our options are before we get too far into this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below if you've seen some of our content already and have not subscribed we want you to join our community smash that like button hit subscribe and let's get back to the video two of these are wireless lavalier options they have a usb-c receiver that plugs into your Android phone. These do also come in an iPhone option. I am not testing the iPhone option because I did try an iPhone lavalier mic prior to this and it was absolute garbage. Some of you watched the videos and were like, holy crap, your audio really sucks. We switched back to Android because it gives us a little bit more options with with recording and that sort of thing. And then the other one will be a USB-C lavalier microphone wired. The first one up here is a wireless lavalier microphone. It comes with a fancy little case. Inside this case, if we unzip it and have a look here, we get a lot of goodies. Now these have two wireless lavalier mics, so you could clip them onto your shirt. This particular one has an adjustable clip, so you could clip it, you know, this way, like that, or you can rotate it like that, or anywhere in between. It also has a USB-C port on here. That's what you would use to charge the battery on here. And on the back side here, there's a tiny little power button that will sync it with the base. Now the base is this guy right here. It is a USB-C connector and it just plugs into your phone. We will test this out later in the video. So if you wanna know how it works, I will show you the functionality of this working we get to that point. It does have also a USB-C pass-through. So this allows you to actually plug your phone in and charge your phone while you're using this dongle, which is really great. Some of the other items inside here, there's a USB-C charger port, which would you would use to charge your two wireless microphones and an adapter that converts from USB-A to USB-C. So I can plug this into here and then use this with my PC as well, which actually we will talk about why that's so cool a little bit later in this video. We also have wireless microphone instructions, which are, I haven't looked at these yet, but it basically walks you through how to use it and that sort of thing. The microphones have this little cover on here. If you open this up, you can see that it's, it's a very directional type microphone. So there's a little cap on there with a screen. So it's not gonna capture a lot of audio around. It'll be more directional. It is nice that it has this rotating clip on here, which you'll find that these other devices do not have that. And the case that comes with it is actually kind of nice. If you're on the go, you can throw this in here like that, like that. Like that, you got your little charger cord, and you go like this, you're ready to go, it keeps it all together. If you think this might be the microphone for you, I will put a link in the description to this exact one so that you can pick it up so you're not trying to guess which one it is that I was looking at. You can buy it and give it a try for yourself. Keep in mind, all of these solutions are under $50. When we go back to these guys, these guys were $30 to $50 as well, and kind of the functionality is not as great as you would think compared to these. I'm actually really excited about trying these out. The next one up is IU Make VP lavalier microphone. 
Let's give this guy a try. So this one right off the bat, ooh, the packaging's a lot nicer than this guy. This guy's pretty generic. This one's got a full color description of what you've got on the front. Once you open it up, you've got your lavalier mics, which there's one, and there's two. And then we've got our USB-C dongle. These do not, they don't rotate. So once you clip it on your shirt, that's it. You can't change the orientation. So I don't know if that's important to you, but if you want the ability to change the orientation, these ones do not do that. I did like the shape of them because they're straight, whereas these ones, like if you compare size to size, I kind of thought these were gonna be a little bit bigger than these. Now again, this has two microphones. It has the receiver, which we had, and then there's also a couple boxes of accessories. Inside here, we've got two USB-C charger cords, which is, pretty good because I have two microphones. The other one you'll remember only had one. And then inside of here, it comes with two extra little clips here. And then it also has tiny little USB-C headphones. So I can stick this in my ear and then I can plug this into the side of this microphone here. And then when I turn this on, it plays the audio or is supposed to play the audio right back into my ear while I'm talking. Now, right now it's not working because it's not synced, I guess, to the base. Maybe after I sync it to the base, it'll work. They're both left headphones, so you can only do it in your left ear. They are directional headphones, but there's a lot of stuff that comes with this. It does come with this little bag that you can try and keep all of your stuff in as well. So it's all, you know, together. The top is a snap closed top, which is kind of cool. And it comes with an extra foam topper and as well. That's pretty much all that was in here. There are instructions in there. There's a lot more stuff that comes with this one. They were a couple dollars more than that, but not a lot. So if you decide you like these, these are, you know, there's a lot that comes with them. So we're gonna test those out. And then this guy, this is the most simplest one. I saved the simplest for the last. And what this is, if I open this up, it's got a little carry case and we've got two microphone covers for it. And actually it turns out that that microphone is this guy right here which has been on this shirt the whole time. The end of it is a USB-C connector. It plugs directly into your phone and then I've got it running up through my shirt and connected on right here. And in fact, if you're wondering how this particular one sounds, I have been using this for the audio on the video and you're like, that audio sounds pretty good. Well, that is what this guy sounds like. You'll notice I have two lavalier microphones and that's because my other lavalier microphone. It's currently running on this, which is my Android S10 Plus, but this one has a headphone port and it plugs directly into my headphone port. This is how I've captured audio for this channel for the last couple of years now, and I prefer the kind of no gimmicks method of recording audio. I just plug it in. I always have my phone with me. I always have a few of these lav mics lying in my truck, in my car, in my boat, wherever, so that I can always record audio for any videos that I might want to make. The only reason I even started this journey of trying to switch audio was because I recently upgraded to a Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, which lacks that headphone port. Now I need to look at other options. Many of you would know that I explored this option first and it was absolute trash. First thing we're gonna do is pull out one of these. I'm gonna connect it up to this. I'm gonna swap the audio over and then we're gonna do a sound test. The audio recording software that I'm using is the Samsung voice recorder. There's nothing special about it, but watch what happens when I plug this device in. We've now paired this microphone to this dongle. It's got a green light there to signal that it has been paired. And I'm gonna try this live feedback channel just to see how that works while I'm at it here. Ooh, right off the bat. Actually, this is really cool. There's no latency here. If I clip myself, then I can hear exactly what's going on in here. Now, normally you're probably not gonna walk around like this, but that's okay. And now it is recording. It says recording with external mic. So I can see the volumes peaking up and down to say that this is getting audio. And uh, you're just gonna tell me, what do you think? Can you hear myself? Does it sound like it's peaking? Does it sound like it's muddy? Does it sound clear? Does it sound um, like you know, you're missing some of the vocal range? This is this guy right here. Have a listen. Tell me what you think as far as the audio sounds right now. We will compare back to back to back. So you're gonna hear this other one in a second. We're gonna do the same setup. Now, next up, we're gonna take this guy and we're going to do the same thing. So we're gonna plug this guy into here 
and it will immediately sync up and then we will turn on the microphone. Now this is the one remember that I said that has the turny thing so I can push the button on there, turn it on. It is now pairing and it looks like it paired. Now one thing I want to know, this one did not come with these headphones but I'm wondering if I plug these headphones into here, will it still work? Because I think it might. We're going to find out right now. Let's see. What do you think? Will it work? Will it work? Let me see. Go like that and testing. Okay, it is paired. Let me try recording. It's recording with external mic. So right off the bat, I can tell you that the external headphones do not work with this. Now I am recording with the USB-C cord, this one again, but for whatever reason, the audio didn't sound quite as good as we hoped. So we've reverted back to our old audio recording solution using the Galaxy S10. My editor is going to let you know if that's what's happening. We're going to say, yep, definitely confirm this is the S10 audio. Let's talk about the pros and the cons. You just had a listen to all three solutions. You decided if uh, you liked one over the other. Through my testing, it turned out that both of the wireless solutions seem to sound about the same. One thing to note is there's two microphone options for these, but they do not record in stereo, or at least I have not been able to record them in stereo. So if I have one on me and one on someone else, both audio channels will actually be recorded to one mono audio channel. So you do not have the ability to turn one up and turn one down as I would have hoped. I really hoped that they recorded in stereo. So one would record to left and one would record to right. It doesn't seem to be an option, at least with this app in my testing. The other thing is both of them have this USB-C pass-through, which allows you to charge your phone, which is excellent. The inclusion of these extra earpieces, which you could plug in and actually hear a live feedback of what you're recording is actually really good because if you're not sure if you're getting your audio, these go to the phone and then are rerouted back to you. So if there's any kind of a distancing issue, it's not just shorting through the microphone. So you actually know that you have positive confirmation the audio is making it to the phone and making it back. This is especially handy if you record at a distance and you're worried about it not recording or at any time if it stopped recording, you would know. As soon as I unplug the dongle, it stops working. Like it, it immediately stops providing that feedback. It has to feed through that dongle. So it gives you that error correction ability to just make sure that your audio is working and that you haven't screwed it up. As somebody who has recorded in the past an entire video and found out that the audio was bad and or clipping and or missing, it is really, really great to be able to monitor yourself in real time. You could, if you wanted to even, put this on somebody else off camera who can listen to it as long as they're not a heavy breather and they could make sure that you can actually hear their audio just to give you kind of that thumbs up that audio is working. Now compare that to these guys here. Now these are actually the most expensive of the bunch at about $40 Canadian. The only thing that I gain from that is the ability to rotate this clip. But I don't think rotating the clip is worth an additional $10 to me. Plus, when I tested the live recording feedback, it didn't work. These don't support that at all. They didn't say that they did, but I was curious to know if it did. In the hierarchy of what I would recommend, number one, I really, really am enjoying how these work. The range works really well. You can plug this into a computer and record your audio onto a computer as well, which for me, I do live streams with a computer. I also do recordings like this with my GoPro and a wireless recorder. I have a lot of scenarios where I'm recording in different setups and these would grow with me. They would allow me to use these microphones in all of those setups. The only downside that I can see is that the battery life on here, it's at least three or four hours. My recordings are never that long. They're about 30 to 40 minutes. So it's not usually a big deal, but you do have to charge them. You have to make sure that they stay charged and they'll be ready to go. But it's a little bit finicky for that reason. They also could be subject to radio interference. If you're using them near a microwave, you might have audio cut out and that sort of thing. So the reliability will be a little bit questionable. You would have to use it in your scenario and see if they work stable. The other option is the one that I'm using right now, and that's the USB-C hardwired connection. Personally, I found that the hardwired connection works pretty good. It's very comparable to my old setup, 
with the wired connection. I like that it's wired. There's no batteries to worry about. I keep this phone in my pocket, just like I've always done, and it's always there recording and ready to go. The wired option works really, really well for me. When I talk about recommendations, which one would I recommend? If you only have one option, and you can only get one of these, the price, this one's like 12 to $15 US, and this guy's gonna cost you about 25 to $30. So you could buy two of these lavalier mics for the same price as one of these setups. If you know that you're doing studio recordings or you're doing recordings where it's okay to have a phone in your pocket, this is the most hassle-free setup that you can get. You plug it in, it works every time. There's no worry about signal dropout, there's no worry about batteries dying, and it's a lot smaller solution that works quite well. These guys though are very, very good. The audio is still clear. The fact that it comes with two microphones is a huge bonus. I sometimes am filming where there's two of us and I could mic both of us up and catch good, clean audio from one source in my pocket as long as they don't walk too far away from me. The fact that it has live monitoring through the headphones, amazing. Plus, it comes with two of the USB-C charger cords and it's cheaper, it's cheaper than this option. So if you're looking at buying one of the two, this is the one that I would get, especially if you need wireless. Now I told you I was gonna give you a top secret tip for recording to make sure that it sounds good and clear and crisp. The thing that I'm gonna show you is I still use this voice recorder app, but I go into the settings up over here, and what I do is set your record quality to the highest, and then I also say record in stereo on. Now, for whatever reason, I don't know why, but when you say record in stereo off, the audio changes a little bit on here. I noticed it, it gets a little bit shallower and it's not quite as much vocal range. Record in stereo seems to capture a little bit more clear and crisp audio. Same with these guys. I do, like I told you that these don't record left and right in stereo. They don't, and I was playing with the record in stereo to see if I could get that working. It didn't work, so they record in mono. Even when you say record in stereo, it records to one channel with both mics, but still very, very good solid solution. And my recommendation, my final recommendation, what am I gonna do? I am going to keep the USB-C lav mic. I'm gonna keep it in here and use it in the studio setting, but I was so impressed by these. I'm gonna keep these and have them charged. I will use these out in my garage. I'm going to put this out there so that these will be my mics for my live stream setup because I was really blown away by how well they worked. But also when we're doing our budget road trips, these are gonna be the mics that we're gonna use because they work so good that I think it's gonna be the well-rounded, solution for this channel moving forward. Post in the comments what you think. Have you got a different microphone option that you'd like us to try? Because I really feel like we've done an exhaustive test of the budget options. If you have a high budget, you can get a much better one of these that works really, really good. But we're on a budget under 50 bucks and we've kind of touched everything that you can get for under $50, and I think we've arrived at what the best solution is. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. We hope you enjoy the content in this video, and we'd love to have you come back. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for those subscribers who are looking for that extra special thing that you can do to support this channel, consider joining our members group. That's where we're building this community, the Gears and Tech community, where we can all enjoy content together. You'll get special perks, which we'd love for you to check out by clicking the link down below. For those of you who are just happy to watch the video, that's okay too. You can check out some of our other content right over here, where we've got some previous videos that have already been uploaded and enjoyed by many of our viewers already. We do hope to see you again. This has been Gears and Tech. Have a great day.